Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day so far. So in my last video, I mentioned that I spent over 6 million gil melding my Alchemist main hand tool to make my last video, which was 35 durability materials, high quality from normal quality materials. Now, as always, I kind of like to get back the money that I spent. The only problem is, what do I sell? to get back that six million, that's not going to sit on the market board forever. And as always, the best idea is Culinarian. Now, it's not just any recipe you're gonna be using. It's going to be the one recipe that is most used by most of the classes. And that is going to be Suka, as I like to call it for short. It uses basic materials from A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward. Dravian paprika, the mild tomatoes, dragon peppers, thyme, and of course the Gagana eggs from Stormblood. The pork is from Yellow Script, so it's not that hard to find these. Now, all you'll be needing to make these high quality is 6103 starter quality. Basically, two paprikas and two dismal tomatoes. Or, one paprika, one Gagana egg, and one dragon pepper. The combination you choose is up to you. I honestly would go with these two because these can be easily farmed since these are old nodes. The Dravinian peppers will spawn at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. in Court and Western Highlands, and the tomatoes is going to be 1 p.m. down south of Wineport. The Dravanian peppers, you only get one every time you gather, while the tomatoes, you get five at one time. Okay, as for the Gagana eggs, I honestly would use your retainer to get these because they can be a little bit of a pain to drop out in the fringes. So I would use your retainer for these, and these, of course, are common items. So getting these high quality, if you so choose to do so, won't be that hard. So to prove that these sell very well, look at my sales history. I have sold Suka the past couple days, and even before this. I started off by selling five, then inched my way up to 15, which of course 15 has been selling quite well as well. Of course, this is Gilgamesh, so I don't really know what your Suka is on your server, but make sure you look before you uh, put these on the market board, okay? So it is about almost 6 p.m. So we're going to go head over to the Korth and Western Highlands and I will show you guys how to maximize your yield on these two nodes. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So here we are in Korth and Western Highlands at 6 a.m. to get the Dravidian Paprika. It's going to be in this general area right here. And don't worry about the polar bears around you. They're too low to aggro you. So you pretty much want to have at least 700 GP. 800 would be ideal for maximum yield, but 700 will do just fine. You're going to use Leaf Turn 3. Leaf Turn 3 is an ability that gives you high quality percentage based on your perception. Because our perception is way above what Heaven's Ward's cap was, it will give us 100% high quality. Then you'll use Bountiful Harvest 2 to get plus four yield and you repeat that until you run out of GP. Bounce of the Harvest 2 also is the same concept with perception but with gathering. The higher you're gathering the more yield that you're gonna get when you use it. Because our gathering rate is way above normal, we get the maximum four. And yeah, we'll just collect the last two. So these spawn at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So you're just going to have to come back here both times to get the maximum. Now, at 1 p.m., the tomatoes will spawn. So I will see you guys in about six hours. All right, so it is now 1 p.m. We are in Rencantra Gully. It's going to be spawning around this general area here. It's never the same spot. So basically we're going to do the same thing as we did with the paprika. Now as you can see the tomatoes, they actually give you five 
uh, just on the basic yield. So you're going to use leap turn 3, 100%. And now you can use bounce of a harvest, and now you'll be able to ga uh, gather 8 at a time. So you're going to do that 4 times. Now you'll get more tomatoes than paprika. It's kind of like a trade-off. Because you'll only be doing this once every 24 hours, while the paprika is twice every 24 hours. And then we'll just gather the 10 at the end. And there you go. Now, tomatoes will give you less high quality than the paprika. But with the paprika and the tomatoes combined, you'll have enough starter quality. So, let's go ahead back and I will uh, show you how the rotation will work with those four items. Alright, now that we're back in a safe spot, all you're going to be needing is high quality matcha. You don't need any kind of tea for this. So I have now 1793 control, 1650 craftsmanship, and 548 CP. You're only going to need about 1732 control. And as for my stats, well, everything is the same. The only thing is that my knife has three control foils and a CB5, and my main hand has a CB5, a craftsmanship 5, and a craftsmanship 3. So you don't really have to meld the main and off hand tools to achieve this. So you're pretty much going to use the same rotation that I used before in my other previous videos. So if you have anything lower starter quality than what I started off with, you're going to end up short just by a, a little bit. This is the most easiest recipe to make because the ingredients are so basic. And getting the tomatoes and the paprika is so easy, that's all you basically need. Of course, if you have less control using these four and then the egg itself is, will be enough. That's 95.53 if you have less control. Alright, so now let's head over to the summoner bell. We're going to show you guys how to sell them properly. The one thing I hate what people do is they, they shove their whole stock onto the market board without really giving a damn about putting so much on there. So as you see in my sales history, I've been selling at 15, 10, and of course 5 stacks when I first started out. So I already made a couple ahead of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them at 15. They're starting at 70... 300. I'm just going to lower it by one gill to get mine at the top of the list. And I'm going to sell the last three because I have an item number amount. And pretty much there you go. 
and that's pretty much all you gotta do is just set it and then let them sell naturally do not throw multiple stacks at once and saturate the market the more you do that the more people are going to start dropping them because well people like to people like to screw things over just try to sell at least three stacks each wait for them to sell and then reapply them on there I can guarantee you they will sell okay so this is pretty much how I got back all of my gill within the past week I own about three million more left till I basically get back everything I wasted in my last video all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful any comments questions you have please leave them in the comment section down below i'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more final fantasy 14 stone Blord content and as a reminder make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button this way you guys will never miss an upload so until next time guys may you forever walk in the light of lord bahamut Take care, guys, and happy selling.